my god. Oh my god. She was just screaming, and I heard her say, he's dead. Brenda said Jonathan shot himself. Trying to absorb the idea was about all my brain and emotions could deal with. John just kept trying to get to Jonathan. Just wanted to see him. And I knew I couldn't see him. Couldn't see my baby with a hole blown through him. I figured that it must be an accident. How many guns did he have? Probably half a dozen, maybe. The guns they do was something he took very seriously. He was very, very careful with his guns. Like, how did he get shot? So I plugged my phone in and a text message popped up and it was from Jonathan. It said, I want to die, period. Did he talk that way? No. They showed me this text and I said, Jonathan didn't write that. And they said, we know he would never write that. I thought she had done something to him. Did you shoot him? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I am sure. I'm telling you what I think happened after reviewing the evidence. I believe this was an accident. I can get through doors because I look like everybody's mom. And suddenly there you are and you're asking questions. Absolutely. She said, I'm gonna look at this from every angle. You wanted the police department to file the case with the DA's office and they never reached that point. I mean, look, if you're right, there's a murderer walking around out there, free. I think the thing that people need to look at here is what the Dallas County Medical Examiner found, and they found that it was undetermined. You know, everybody hopes they don't know someone who could pull a trigger and shoot someone. 